A national CNA association announces a virtual march on Washington for America's CNA heroes, and a young CNA drives more than 25 miles on a four-wheeler to make shift at a Mississippi nursing home. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. A link will be in the description of this video. The National Association of Healthcare Assistants, or NACA, is proud to announce its inaugural CNA March on Washington, scheduled for April 7th, 2021, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. This is a virtual event and will be streamed live. The purpose of this virtual event is to rally support for CNA heroes on the front lines of the war on the pandemic, raise awareness of their plight, and advance policies that we believe will support them most effectively. During the six-hour event, participants will learn about CNA's experience amid the pandemic as they tell their stories, hear from legislators, celebrities, and other supporters who are working to advance the cause, and discover senior living leaders who are making a difference in their support of CNAs. Nearly 500 individuals have already registered to attend the march. Among the speakers confirmed for the march are Sunil Aurora, Penny Cook, Susan Ryan, David Vopel, Mike Wasserman, among others. Dozens of CNAs, as well as legislators, government officials, and additional senior leading leaders will also speak and present. It is free to register and can be done so at NACA's website at nacacna.org. Where there's a will, there's a way. A 22-year-old Mississippi certified nursing assistant proved just that after trekking more than 25 miles on a four-wheeler during a winter storm in order to make her shift. Pinecrest Guest Home, a 60-bed skilled nursing facility in Hazelhurst, Mississippi, honored CNA Deshante Cooley last week for her supreme efforts during severe, bitter weather that the state is not accustomed to. Quote, I had already been out for virus precautions, and I was determined to get back. The patients, they keep me going, Deshante said. Cooley, who lives more than 25 miles away from the facility, said the combination of snow and increased traffic prevented her from driving to work as she would on typical days. Thanks to a neighbor who loaned her an ATV four-wheeler, she was able to beat the winter conditions and make it to her patients. Quote, Mississippi really doesn't get snow. It was something that was kind of new, she said. The facility celebrated Cooley's dedication on their Facebook page. The post has been shared more than 600 times and commented on about 150 times. One of the commenters praised her for her special heart and added they hope her, quote, employer knows how important you are, not just in times like these, but at all times. She took the praise in stride, quote, when you are actually determined to do something, she said, you will get the job done. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.